Hello YouTube! This is an emergency meeting and we're going to talk about Ubisoft and Netflix. Yep. You, you read that right. Netflix Games and Ubisoft are partnering up for three original mobile games from Ubisoft's most beloved franchises. Exclusively to Netflix members. Valiant, Hearts 2, Mighty Quest, and of course, Assassin's Creed. Alright, so that's the small, that's the appetizer. Um, and the next, the next one before we get to the big story is Splatoon Three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's very unusual for Japan to uh, bring out their their sale numbers before you know when they actually bring out their sale numbers, but this was such a huge deal, and I'm 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 actually seriously shocked by this. But they have sold almost three and a, three and a half mil copies in in Japan and since release, right? In a span of three days. News: Splatoon Three has biggest three day launch ever in Japan in video game history. That's Splatoon out of all things. That's crazy. Splatoon Three has become the biggest video game launch in Japan ever with three. 0.45 million selling in the first weekend. That's crazy to me. I did not think that out of all the games, Splatoon will be the one to break the record. Like I know. I don't, you would think it would be Pokemon, Mario, whatever. Yeah, Zelda. That's well, especially with the new one. Splatoon. I know. That's so random. It is. I mean, they've been hyping up Splatoon 3 for a while. They have. Yeah. They have. That's interesting. So I guess Splatoon is mainstream now, like. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be right up there with the other big franchises for Nintendo. Like because you know how they do the 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 images or the, the like the, the the big franchises. Yeah. Splatoon three. Well, Splatoon will have to be there too. Um, I I actually been uh, really enjoying the memes, of people, I think decorating the lockers. So there's something chaotic about that happening. I don't know. I just thought it looked funny. I mean, the Splatoon stickers and like the Splatoon makes makes like because it is inspired by street art and graffiti and things like that. So like, the aesthetic of the game, you know, of it works yeah, well with somehow, locker rooms. Right, like it works well you if you. You know how? Yes. If I was a Splatoon fan, I would probably in my work locker probably put something Splatoon related because it looks good. Right, but it's when just, it when it, when it unlockers, right? The, but the aesthetic the, of the of the game. The, um, the things about the game is. You know how Nintendo tends to have uh, um, the the Easter Easter Island um, heads. Yeah. Like like as as, as yeah they usually as, put that as Easter eggs. as Easter yeah, yeah that's the joke uh -huh. yes yeah. that that they usually do that in a lot of their games yeah. right this one too ah uh -huh. but it's it's a little more in your face because you could actually you could get like a little little stone um, uh -huh. figure of of. Uh, of the dude and you could put it into your locker uh yeah but i i still haven't gathered completely of why the, this is uh, a thing uh, a meme well not just the easter island heads but just it's used it's referenced a lot in nintendo games yeah i mean i kind of get it because it is it is kind of haha funny but I was just still thinking about what's up with these lockers <laughs> and yeah. people going crazy about them. I think they spend a lot of time in the lobby just doing just or <laughs> just doing the things in the locker. That seems to be a lot of the memes. Okay. So um, that's that. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the the secret sauce is to have colorful squids and ink. There we go. No, there it's everyone. it's it's a uh, because it came out in the Wii U era, and when it first came out, it was niche because of the wii u but it blew up because of the switch and the, and the splatoon 2 um and also it's just an overall fun shooter for kids and the aesthetic is very hip everyone gets involved yeah so because of that and also it's fun i heard it's fun online there's a story mode but the online is is like very fun it's meant to be played as online game. Online games have become really popular. Yes. So it's a good, it's a good overall Nintendo product. That's a, a response to the lack of online games for Nintendo, online Nintendo games in general. Um, 
So yeah, that's they become a phenomenon, um, which is cool. Um, yeah. So next story is the big one. The big one, Nintendo Direct. It's happening tomorrow. So we, it is tomorrow. It confirmed so, all month. People have been saying there's gonna be a Nintendo Direct this month. Everyone keeps saying that. There's been a lot of sources saying that it's gonna happen this month, and that a lot there's gonna be a lot of Zelda content. Apparently. Apparently. Well, she explained why we had a few YouTubers talk about Zelda. Yeah. 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 Definitely not sus at all. Um, but the other thing is that depending if you if you listen to our this emergency meeting today or tomorrow, you you already either are hyped about the direct. You already saw it. Already saw it. But we think that there is going to be Zelda content because according to the insider, there will be you know Breath of the Wild two possible Wind Waker. Please. Uh, please. Um, and probably more Zelda stuff announced. I mean, Twilight Princess, people are saying this is going to be like a Twilight Princess, Wind Waker uh, co compilation that Possibly. type of game. Yeah. yeah, that's what has been in the talks for a minute. Um, because those two, are, those two games would clash, and it works well because the fans of both will come together. There's people who prefer one or the other because of the different styles. Um... I see. I could see that definitely being a thing. People are also saying Metro Prime Four will get some kind of oh, and then teaser or that something. And also, like, please trilogy, please trilogy. Please, so yeah, please, Metro please. Metroid Prime trilogy and Metro Prime Four probably will get mentioned. Uh, the GBA emulation. Oh yeah. It's been months now since we got the news about that. Well, we're like rumors. It was. It, it, it was not. It was a leak. It was yeah. a leak. Uh, the emulation for GBA and Game Boy. Please. It was a leak. Uh, it was a beta. But it's been months since they've been working on it. It's been, it's been in beta for months. We might get an announcement this time. Yeah, because we we're going to have 40 minutes of this. It's, yeah, 40 it's mostly Nintendo. Mostly the winter winter titles. But, you know, like when they Stop. talk about winter titles, they're also going to talk about the following year. So Yes. So... Most likely it could be some third party, but yeah. Yeah, like I think we're going to get Metroid Zelda, stuff that has been neglected. The Metroid Zelda, the Nintendo Switch Online updates, um, then some maybe spin-off stuff, and then like third party. Um, they're probably going to lead more into the Breath of the Wild 2. They're probably going to get show more, like the actual gameplay Most maybe. Most likely, the, the, that's, how, that's the type of thing they will leave it for the end, but like one more thing. Yeah, po yeah, probably. <laughs> Although and then we're, they, they yeah. usually the way Nintendo Direct start, they usually start with the small stuff like the mobile games, spin-off type stuff that's small. Um, and then it's gonna move on to the big stuff. I thought we're gonna get Pokemon. No, Pokemon because Pokemon's Pokemon already usually gets his own direct. Well, Pokemon okay. gets his own direct, yeah, and we already got a new Scarlet and Violet trailer with more gameplay stuff. Yeah, so that was great. Uh, I thought we get anything Pokemon related, which is fine. Uh. People, some people are saying that Donkey Kong it has his due diligence because we haven't had Donkey Kong in years. Yeah, Donkey Kong. Um, yo. Mario. Right. People are saying actually there's rumors of a new 2D Mario game. Yeah, because they don't all have to be 3D. Yeah, we're tired. I'm I'm kind of tired of 3D at this point. Like, <laughs> I really am. Everything has been 3D now, and it's like I want a 2D game. I want a 2D Mario game. There hasn't been one since the uh, Super Mario Brothers U, and we're kind of tired of the new Super Mario Brothers. I think they need to they, they need to abandon new Super Mario Brothers, and do something new entirely. I think that we are gonna get a uh, a two D Mario game that's not part of the new Super Mario Brothers. That's just so dead, man. They need to like do something super new, something that's gonna um, fresh. Something fresh that revitalized the, the, um, what do you, the, yeah, how has, how Mario, 2D Mario has been gone, gone so stale A after the Wii? The Wii. After the Wii, yeah. It got stale with the 3DS game and then the Wii U. Uh, yeah, basically 3DS and Wii U came out around the same year, 2012. So this, um, new Super Mario Brothers have been stale since 2012. Um, the, so we need a real game. Uh, so I think we might get a Mario 2D because of the rumors uh, that there's going to be a 2D Mario game. In, is, is in the works, it might get announced. I know this people, is the perfect time. I know people were saying 
uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Too. I really doubt but it. I don't know. Because people are saying that they're going to follow the same formula as Galaxy. The difference between Mario Odyssey and Galaxy is Odyssey has more content than Ga Galaxy. Galaxy is not that long. Mario Odyssey is long. There's much more stars or moons. Um, There's a close to a thousand. It's insane. So I really doubt that Mario Odyssey will have a sequel because Mario Odyssey had just so much content. Um, well, Mario Galaxy had, yeah, it did have quite a bit of content, but there was a lot of scrapped stuff in Galaxy that Galaxy 2 got made because of the scrapped content. I don't think there was that much scrapped content in Mario Odyssey. I feel like they just threw in everything. They threw in as much stu stuff as possible. It got to the point where... Everything but the kitchen floor. Yeah. That was the whole point of Odyssey is anything and everything. While Galaxy was much more reserved, they picked the best of the best and then later on repurposed uh, the, the, the cut content into the, the sequel. So, um, I doubt we're going to get another 3D Mario thing. I think it's going to be 2D and I think it might even get a teaser or something for Mario for the Direct. It might be something small. It might take a very little amount of time. But I think there's going to be some Mario stuff. Unless... But the major, what's going to take up the mo mo a big chunk of the Direct is going to be Zelda content. Uh, well, Zelda content, but not, not Zelda 2. Actually, another thing I was going to say... Breath of the Law 2 is just confirmed. Right, right, but I was... Uh, okay, there's two things I need to say. The Mario part, there's a chance that they might mention the movie. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yes. Yes. That. And then, for Zelda, I don't want to jinx it, but what if the one more thing is... What if the one more thing is Zelda 2, but it doesn't come out in spring? Another delay? That it already got delayed once. Yeah, no. I know. I, I, I don't. I don't know about that. I mean, I this is like the Majora's Mask of of our time. It's it's they're gonna recycle a lot of assets. They, I feel like it's not Breath of the Wild got delayed a lot because it was an original concept, original engine, original everything. They had to do everything from scratch. This is using... And for it to be playable on the Switch. Yeah. And Wii U. Both right. Wii U and Switch. That's true. I forget about so, that. Yo! Right. The Switch has so overshadowed the Wii U and the fact that it has yes. brought over so many titles that I forget that they were on the but Wii U. But it came out around the same time. It was a multiple release. Yeah. So, the Breath of the Wild got delayed a lot. Yeah, maybe... I'm hoping um, I'm wrong. I should be wrong. I think one. Breath of the Wild 2... It should just be spring 2023 and then that's Yeah, it. Breath of the Wild 2, yes, it got delayed, but the develop... I don't think it's going through the same development hell but, as Breath of the Wild 1. Yeah, probably just... We're through. probably just going to get a small trailer. Yeah, we're going to get a small trailer, probably more gameplay stuff, and then the spring 2023 release. Yeah. Um, don't mind me. Yeah. Sometimes I have to give a little bit of negativity because you know how Nintendo is. Everyone knows what Nintendo is here. Yeah. So, big chunk of Zelda, a little bit of Mario, probably Metroid, um, then mobile app stuff, spin off third parties, um, and then GBA com confirmed. GBA. GBA. I think that's going to be the whole direct. Because it's, it's 40 minutes. That's 40 minutes. pretty much 40 minutes of content. Yeah, we're gonna we uh, uh, I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. Gonna wake up tomorrow. We're gonna turn on that TV, and we're gonna get on this. Hell, so the possibilities are gonna be like Zelda, Metroid, probably gonna be the majority. Uh, not majority, but like the biggest things. Maybe Mario, the GBA. Um, Mario has a new to the Mario game and the trailer for the movie. Then the GBA stuff, I'm pretty sure that's confirmed. Um, I'm nervous. Yeah. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit of anxiety over this. After you, after you, and then like some mo some mobile crap, the MOBA, whatever. It's just, a cra it's just crap. There's always filler in every direct. There's going to be filler. Usually in the beginning. Um, I think it's going to be a good direct. Yeah. Because we've watched some bad ones. Yeah, but we... The, but the last one was good, right? The one before? Not the... Right? Because uh, we had a bad one followed by a good one. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one of the most recent ones was pretty well received. Yes, I, I remember it being well... Yeah, because... The, no, the last one was not even... It was a sh mini direct 
but it was the most well-received mini direct because there was a lot of third parties that were like yes 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 it was great it was a good direct it was not a, even a direct it was a mini. partner showcase yeah and that partner showcase was like people it was really thought it was the best partner showcase yeah. because the third great. party stuff they showed was epic so epic and cool and bass and dab um <laughs> Yeah, all the words. Yeah, all those words. All the Zoomer words. Um, bussin. <laughs> yeah, no, no. For real, it, for real. It really is. Zo Zoomer perm. I'm going to get a, a Zoomer perm. Oh, yeah, you're going to go get a haircut. Yeah. There you go, everyone. Zoomer perm. That's, a, that's part no. of the emergency meeting. We're getting haircuts. Um, This is going to be a, a... The Zelda blowout. I'm excited. It could, anything can happen. Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda... Anything Metroid. can happen in the next 40 minutes of yeah. that direct. Only only some people are going to get that reference. Except that I added 10 minutes to it. Uh, so... Uh, let's go Nintendo. Let's do the thing. Yep. So I guess that's all our predictions. Yep. Um, there's going to... Look, there's always going to be franchises that are left behind in the sense that you not every not everything is going to be mentioned your your favorite franchise might not be mentioned or please donkey kong don't die yeah donkey kong man yeah because it didn't donkey kong celebrate like 40 years or something like that and they they just kind of like left them in the dust yeah donkey kong has been really left in the dust and it sucks because tropical feast freeze was really well received and it was ported yeah to the switch yep like it was a well-received game People can't complain, and the, I think the 3D Donkey Kong is going to be in the works, or is already in the works. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be announced, I'm not sure if we will get Donkey Kong, but it's Donkey Kong. So yeah, that's our um, our predictions. Thanks for uh, watching, guys. So right after, a couple hours after we recorded, it turns out that PlayStation... Uh, Sony said, nah, we can't have them whip, that, whip it out and, and us not be in on it. Right, so we're gonna, they're going to be a state of play tomorrow, same day as a direct. Uh, I guess they're salty as hell. S S Sony saw that 40 minute thing and they scrambled to do this presentation, I guess. Or maybe it was already in the works and just put it, you know. No, there's no such thing as coincidence. Why is it tomorrow? Yeah, I think what was what happened was it was gonna be this week, um, but they saw the Nintendo thing and like, no, nah, no, nah, we we gotta just put it out now. Um, yeah, that's funny. I mean, the fact that at like hours after we recorded this, already Sony's at it, so that's that's great. Anyways, it's gonna be, it's gonna be about uh, twenty minutes. Uh, it says it's gonna be great updates from our amazing Japanese partners and developers, and also. Um, and and uh, and the rest of the world, and then they also had the audacity to tweet a um, a Nintendo notice me senpai. No, that actually they tweet they tweeted a Nintendo for under the 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 Nintendo of America tweet about the the direct saying big day tomorrow and the eye emojis. Yeah, so that's that. So that's a threat. <laughs> All right.